rwose pe turapfuye she is among the refugees in Gihembe camps in Kajeo sector, Gichumbi district, in the northern province of Rwanda, explaining the poor living conditions she and others face. When you get to the camps, you find different kinds of houses. Some are built with stakes and covered. Lucky ones even have iron sheet roofings. When you take a close look at all of this, you will find that they are all old and not strong enough to withstand the weather that our country will be experiencing with heavy rains and strong winds. When you talk to some of the refugees in Gihembe camp, they say that when it rains, they never have a place to sleep because their houses leak and on top of that, it becomes hard for them to get dry firewood for cooking their little food they have. We do get firewood, but it comes in small quantities, not enough. You find like 23 sharing blocks of wood and also the people sharing will again receive more firewood after a month. And most of the time when we use them, they last up to only two weeks. We have to wait for two more weeks to receive more. We have a big problem when it rains. Our iron sheets roofing usually fed during the sunny season and when it rains, well, you can even see for yourself. They have holes and at night when it rains we barely sleep because it leaks on us and the houses are very small and we usually look for shed in the corners that we do not get rained on. People fall sick with flu. They get amoeba. You also know the way rain brings many challenges. I take care of the children by myself. And there's a lot of hunger here and the UNHCR is what raised me because I came here when I was as young as these kids. What you can do for us is advocacy because hunger will kill us here in Gihembe camps. David, the representative of Ministry of Disaster Management and Refugee Affairs in Gihembe refugee camp, says that lack of firewood for the refugees is a problem that is known and solutions are underway since they have current discussions with entrepreneurs who can be supplying firewood to the refugees. I can't say that we were not aware of the firewood challenge the people face. The firewood are not enough and during this rainy season, they need more firewood than before because they need something they could use to keep the houses warm and also for cooking. And there are some who haven't had firewood for the last two weeks. But yesterday, we talked to entrepreneurs and they agreed to start delivering firewood as soon as possible. And the people who hadn't gotten firewood will be the first ones to receive it. As they say, the iron sheets having leaks, our budget is very small. But when the problem becomes severe, we can always find a solution and we hope that we get sponsors. Other than these refugees showing the problems they are facing, they are saying that they also want trained personnel in health sector to come and teach women and girls how to take care of their health and also how to protect themselves from unwanted pregnancies and also sexually transmitted diseases. Rguanyonga David, the representative of Midimar in Gihembe refugee camp, says that the camp started receiving refugees from Congo in the first month of 1997. And the recent census done last month in August shows that the refugees from Congo in Gihembe camp are 1,312. Naringwa Fiona Mthoni for TV10.